you could shut down a lot of the potential damage that Drow could bring to the table. So if, if uh, Team Dog's going for the uh, carry, I I'd like to see a little bit more mixed. So maybe like Ten a Marana that they remaining. seem to like a lot, or maybe a Luna. And both of them are still in the pool. So. Who do you think Five if Clockwork and Bat Rider go 1v1, like in a lane, who do you think comes out on top of that one? That, not by much, but... Like Bone this. 7 says Clock wins that matchup, but Bone really? 7 plays Clock like day in, day out. So he really knows... Um, I mean, you, you really have to outplay Team the other player, but that's what band. Bone 7 says. Hmm. I guess Bat Rider's attack range isn't that great. Yeah. And... He can't really go on him if yeah, he has you, the Yeah, the Bat yeah. can't go on you because of Cogs. But I don't know if that means you just win the lane. You know, I think if you both farm, then we, we just one. don't see that matchup Radiant that often, so it's hard to kind of talk more about just you know aside from theory. I just don't understand why he would say that the clockwork wins. I'm sure he played the matchup before. No, I'm I'm sure he has, yeah. but I'm just wondering like if well, both heroes farm evenly, then who wins the lane? Because I think the both heroes would farm. Yeah, what makes the clockwork actually yeah. win? Oh wow, Team Dog going with a spectre. Okay, so defensive trialing here pick. with a spectre. Spectre is interesting choice. Actually, Spectre is not bad of a defensive trailing hero, right? Like, it no, depends. It's not. Yeah. It's not that bad. But we don't, I mean, we're assuming, I guess, bad offlane right now. Yeah. So, against bat, Visage and Sam should very effectively be able to zone him. My concern is I that Team Dog are going to be a little bit stationary, at least during the early game, because if the Visage EM leaves, then the Spectre is just going to get pooped on, right? And you can't just leave with one support. I don't think, um, well, maybe a Crystal Maiden could solo roam. Be able to get a kill on mid with the help of an Invoker, if it's a Storm, which it looks like it will be, because Bulb is playing it. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. I actually think Liquid's um, last pick, like this poor Shadow Shaman, is really solid. Yeah. They have a really good amount of push now. They have Heavy Disable, which I think is important, especially against Spectre, because even though, like, it's not like a Morphling who is super mobile, it's still that kind of walk-off-the-map thing where you're like, yeah. crap, mm -hmm. we can't kill it, so you want something to hold them in place, so. Why do you say Crystal Maiden will roam instead of Visage? Because Visage actually offers little kill potential on his own, but even if, you, like, say, for instance, is a level 2 Visage and you go mid, and you use Grave Chill and Soul Assumption, I think you actually Prepare offer less kill battle. potential than a Crystal Maiden does if you just have one point into Nova and one point into Frostbite. Plus, um, the Visage can't really initiate the fight, whereas Nova has a very long range, and you could just start the fight off with a Nova and a Cold Snap, and I think it pretty much almost guarantees a kill. Yeah, on the other side, you also want your Visage to be the one that's getting a little bit more experience. He's a little bit more gold reliant than a Crystal Maiden, so yep. you generally want the Crystal Maiden to be the, the one that has to roam. Looks like Koifa is going to be the first one going to the bot lane, dropping a very defensive Observer War for himself. Boots and Tango is going to be his opening choice, and Fluff is going to be dropping onto Observer as well. Looks like a little bit of checking on the Broshan. I do like, um, I really like the Shadow Shaman pick. Like, going a little bit greedier with your secondary support, mm -hmm. you know, instead of just picking something that has some kind of roam potential, because let's be honest, yeah, this is just picked, like, all the battle. time. You could say they're kind of like chalk picks because they're just seen so often, but... A, um, a Shadow Shaman is greedy, I think, in the right way, because, again, I don't think Dog are going to have much movement until the Clockwork starts moving. Yeah, Team Liquid's one of the few teams uh, that's currently playing, like, the high levels that actually pick Shadow Shaman as a support. And if you look at him just on paper, he gives you push once he gets to level 6, a 110-second cooldown. He gives you, like, good disables against most carry in late game. He scales very well as well with begins. the Blink Dagger, so... I'm, it's a shame that not many more teams are picking him. It's a greedy support, but if you could get away with it, like in this game, you possibly can. It really has a high payoff. He has a lot of anti-push as well. Yeah, the yeah. shock. A lot of damage uh, early Yeah, on. it's crazy. It's like 360 or something, is it? Max though? Something like that. 320, 320. In, a, in a big AoE. It's yeah. pretty bonkers. Ether shock, what a skill. Is it ether little... or ether? I can't. Ether, ether. ether. I think it's yeah. ether, yeah. Ether shock, yeah. okay. 140 damage at level 1 is pretty insane as well. Alright, so mid match up here is Storm versus a... What seems to be... Well, I, I guess, guess you always... Wax, right? yeah. but I mean, you, would, attack. you would go Xord at level 1 if you were going to be Xord yeah. just for the damage. So I'm assuming it's going to be Quaswax. I think MSS never plays Xord, actually. Maybe that's style, man. No, I, I'm the same way. I never play Xord. I'm horrible at it, actually. <laughs> I just miss Sunstrikes for days because I'm, I'm like that guy who, who like, thinks that the person's going to yeah, juke, think and they there. don't juke, and then I'm just like, well. Yeah. Right now, it seems like Boba's playing this matchup really well. He's drawn the crew back by attacking the Invoker. 
making the Kree Wave walk onto his Remnant and then using his Overload to get more Lasset. So it's actually winning lane pretty well. He's got his bottle out coming out to him now as well after the first Kree Wave. Yeah, I think Quas, Wex, and Booker actually does worse against Storm early. But if you get to like four and you get your phase boot or something like that, then it starts to become a bit favorable for you. But yeah, Sam's definitely doing very well for himself in the lane. Sam, Sam invented winning mid lane. Sam actually invented mid, not even just winning it. Like, he invented the lane. That's true. <laughs> it's very impressive. It is. There's not many things he didn't invent. Really? Yeah. Like, he invented inventing. The, yeah. like the before microwave that, as people, well? People didn't even know, like, what it was when yeah, something... Yeah. They just called them discoveries, but actually it was inventing. I see. So everyone else just discovers yeah. he invents. Right. Oh, looks like... Oh, um, oh, oh, no, please! Oh, he's gonna firefly away! Double and damage! Uh, okay, uh, fair uh, hero, uh, fair uh, hero. <laughs> but meanwhile, <laughs> Pycat is like, man, I running. can walk up close too. Running. Holy. That was close, man. He's now walking back down. The oh no, he's gonna get oh, the no. He's gonna try to deny oh, himself. Nice. He does get the deny. But, I mean, mission accomplished, I guess. Space created. Yep. Not really. <laughs> hey, man. Way too forced to TP. 135 down the drain. Space. And now Clock's gonna get a little bit more room up top. Uh, yeah, he's actually not threatened by this lane very much. He yeah. actually does not have batteries, though. And they know that, because level 2, they can yeah, actually make a go on him. I, uh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't think they can kill him. It's only level 2 wave for him. I don't know. Oh, they might try. They, they might try. try. Poison, a couple more right clicks. Nah, they're just a little bit of token harass. Give him the goose. I don't know, Smuggling is really giving the goose right out to fluff. Smack him with that grappling hook, man. Looks like uh, a solo smoke coming out of way too. I'm not sure exactly what he can make out of this one. He's all three, man. Oh, okay, okay. Lots of deeps. I hear some... Yeah, Smuggling, top lane. He's quite Fine. Low. Fluff actually had to grave himself there. It's like both offlaners and supports playing aggressively on both sides. Bob is doing really well in the middle. Yeah, but he's really marginally ahead at best of MSS right now. And MSS already has case. Oh, and well, MSS now super sad. That's why once you get to level 4 or 5, Quaswex starts to become just a little bit too it much don't for matter. Start of Yo, you bottle crowing with a golden Roshan, man. Just remnant for farm. Why does it matter that it's a golden Roshan? You it gives you he was five crowing. more mana point for bottle crow. Don't just spread misinformation, man. People are gonna Look. be like, making a Reddit post, holy crap. <laughs> when you go to 79 minutes, you, you win game. That's, that's true. Ridiculous. God damn it, Lumi. <laughs> so, way to TP down to help Batrider. Batrider did not get help. He smoked back top, and now he's pulling again. Well, I think he kind of has to. Yeah. There's not really much he can do bottom lane right now. And this is the one benefit of being a Batrider that uh, Clockwork does not have just the capability of being able to go back and recover from a not so great early game where you had to deny yourself to dragons. Smoke League, unfortunately, does not have that luxury. Yeah. I heard dragon force fights in 15 minutes into a game. What? Yep, that's true. That's true. But not for this game. Yeah. <laughs> that's another game. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. Yeah, he's going to on the middle of your ball, but it's going to get close to have a small fog. It's on the... Ooh, what? The fog thinks about it, and then we're like, nah. Radiant well, they saw the TP. Yeah. Under yeah, if it was anybody else, I think they might have still gone for it, but since it's fluff, the grave's going to be there, and there's like almost no chance I mean, no you might as well kill. drop up the Frostbite, because there's really no counter gank potential with Boba out of mana. Well, it's not just about the counter gank, it's just like simply a waste of time. I guess. On mana. Yeah, he could just go back to the woods and kill them creeps, you know? Gotta farm that CM. Heck yeah, man. Sorry to get boots. How is Pike at 22 creeps when TC is 33? What, what did he miss? Because he spent two creep waves chasing Koifa. Aha, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And now there is a five minute Lincoln Sphere. Or sorry. What? 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 Oh, man, oh, holy this? shit. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. literally a thousand GPM if you <laughs> have a five minute. When, <laughs> when I see Morph Lincoln and item, it's like, yep, that's the Lincolns. <laughs> But, He's got uh, the hand of money, man. Yeah. He's got the Midas touch. What's the fastest you can get on a Midas now without uh, any kills? 4.30, I think. Four minutes. Uh, yeah. I've seen people doing some weird stuff and getting like 3.50. If you mm -hmm. don't buy any starting yeah. items but yeah. a glove, you can get it at like three and a half minutes. Hey, man. Yeah. That MV one tangle shared. Well, yep. you have to actually <laughs> get every single creep kill, I think, to do that. Yeah. Pretty much. 
or a first blood or a courier kill yeah, or something yeah. like Well, yeah, but if you do that, you'd get yeah. it in like two minutes. Yeah. Which, if you had a two minute Midas, like, damn. You won. You actually the game won. Ends. Well, yeah. I don't. You give MYM two minute Midas? I don't know. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> True. That's a good early game lead, though. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. I so, still can't believe they lost that game. Kind of expected, uh, like Andy pointed out, you know, not much early game aggression. A little bit of roaming coming out from uh, Team Dog with a Crystal Maiden, but not too much stun. Who does that actually Demised. favor? The team... Uh, tr Spectre traditionally looked less as a late game hero, but I really think he's much more of a... He, he started picking up heat in mid game as well. So yeah, who does definitely. that favor? I, I think it favors Liquid slightly. Like, uh -huh. only in the sense that they're going to have their Batrider with a blink. They're going to have two very strong initiators. And, I mean, I guess they have a Quasvex Invoker and a Clockwork for their counter initiation on Team Dog. But I still feel as though, even though Spectre does a significant chunk of damage, she's still very killable, mm -hmm. you know, with the lineup that Liquid have. And once that Shadow Shaman hits six, Team fighting in a specific area becomes impossible when mass different wards are down, right? Right. So it's kind of like that area control ulti that you really like to have, especially when you're trying to mount a push. And I'm not entirely sure how well Dog's going to be able to handle that. Yeah, I think if the Serpent Ward drops down, Team Dog's going to have a difficult time mo uh, kind of walking around in team fighting, like you said. But they also have ways to prevent that from coming out in the first place with a good initiation from smuggling. The EMP Tornado really decimates the Shadow Shaman. So there are ways that Team Dog could deal with that. So yeah, looks like we're going to see a little bit of rotation up top. And uh, Crystal Maiden's already waiting. Looks like he's got actually initiate. Here comes the hot Fluff in really a lot of trouble here, but he creates himself. So Smuggling's gonna give up the first, but Tornado and EMP's gonna come down. Way too really low. Liquid TC's really low. They drop two, they drop three. And the TP from Boba a little bit too late. Well, we'll sing Tales of Your Valor, Smuggle League, because that was hashtag worth. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. You gave up first, or not. Yeah, it was first blood, because there was uh, one kill, but Koifa died to the uh, to the Ancients. So a three for one special, man. Not and bad. And Drew TP from uh, the I really kind of worry for uh, Liquid late game. Like Shadow Shaman and Dazzle don't really do great against a Fire Inspector at all. They'll just get annihilated in the ulti. Yeah, and you kind of have to waste Grave after a certain point because yeah. if he haunts sure. and he has Radiance, then you might just have to Grave yourself immediately, and that ain't good. Yeah. Hey Lumi. Yes. Uh, I did this with James and Koikva. What's the name of the offlaner for Team Dog? Smulgulig. 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 There you go. Smuggling. Smuggling. I think he was calling him smuggling. For yeah, he was calling him smuggling. <laughs> smuggling. Look, he I just. Mean, it's not a bad name. No, it's pretty good. Smuggle the triple kill for this. I wish I could have thought of an internet name. Yeah. So you just call Shane. Yeah, just Shane. Shane. You don't have to make man. it sound so plain. Shane. Shane. Like, <laughs> that was that was actually very monotonous. Well Better done. than like Bill. No, it's not. Mean? Bill. He had something against Bill Nye. Bill's an awesome name. He's a science guy. What about Bob? Bob Billy Bobby. The Builder. Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. What about John? John Wayne? I mean, what if you keep listing famous people, like, there, there is no... <laughs> it's like every single yeah. name. Yeah. Bruno. What's that one game that you play? <laughs> 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 it's like Khaleesi. three degrees of Kevin Bacon or something like that? Six degrees. Six okay. degrees, that's it. Was a game? Yeah, uh, it's a game. Yeah, it's Basically, game. you just go back however many movies where a person has been in a movie with Kevin Bacon, and the most you can possibly go is six. <laughs> Radiance top tower is under oh, it's, attack. It's crazy. Like I tried it. <laughs> All right, mass everyone words drop top. They Kevin want Bacon's tower? not saving this tower. Not even oh, with footloose. Smuggly <laughs> is in position. I like how you have to try so hard to say that name. <laughs> just call him smuggling. Yeah. Can they get to deny though? That's the hey, thing. They are gonna get to deny because these are just dropping fast, fast and the glyph is gonna. Ah, uh, that was a waste. Yeah. yeah. Not worth. No, no faith. Uh, they didn't. They didn't glyph it. Radiance top tower has been denied. A little bit of smoke gank in the river. It's gonna be featuring the Bat Rider with a newly purchased Blink Dagger. Piecat, he knows. He's got the drum and face. He's gonna be moving fast if he just straight up don't dodge it. But however, is this courier gonna survive? No. It's grand. Is it really? It's all grand. He lives. Uh oh. They're gonna go. get spotted. See no ya. Is, oh. oh. is it worth to spend the first bat right oh, Actually, they're not done here. Koifa's dropping low. Bobo's gonna burst it out. I'm sure they got the CM, but Koifa is gonna grab down as well. This is why Spectre is mass strong early because once you have face drum finish, Desolate hurts. I mean, Desolate hurts before face drum finish, but you know. Them fucking neutrals. And like, how many neutral kills have we seen in this league as well? It's two and two from Koikva. 
Well, S4 killed himself yesterday to yeah. a, a null assassin yeah. camp, which was pretty impressive. Nice whiff hook there from Smuggly. But yeah, he actually died to null assassins with a lot of farm, which is hard to do. Yeah. Because you actually don't take any damage from that camp after like 20 minutes. The centaur. Yeah. Well, they have spears, in fairness. So? He's like got like a freaking shield taped to his back. Yeah, but if you're gonna slay a giant horseman, you're gonna use spears. Like, you're not gonna use like swords around like that. Or... I mean, I guess. Look, spears do piercing know. damage, which is not too good. I don't know. How is it not too good? What type of damage would you want? I'm no expert on it. You want hero or chaos damage? Chaos damage. Oh, Pie Cat, giving way through the rundown here. He does oh, have okay. mass urban wards. He's mm, enough wow. mana to hex and drop him. He afraid. Well, yeah, I would be afraid. I'd be pretty afraid as well. No, man, if somebody hard. threw a dagger at me that turned the ground black. No, no, I said Pie Cat was oh. afraid. Why'd he turn back? Because he had full mana. He could have just texted and nah, dropped bro, birds. No, bro, you got then... backup from the birds and misery. What backup? He didn't have backup. Nobody was even beginning Radiant's to TP there. No, CM was upset. No, I'm saying Pie Cat had backup. Yeah. Why'd he turn yeah, back? Okay. I don't know. He doesn't have any points into the... The third Dispersion. Spur Dispersion, yeah. It's actually pretty standard to skip it now. Yeah. Because you actually just go for fighting and just damage. Beforehand, you used to like farm radiance and stuff. Yeah, like way, way back when Dota 2 first came out, people would just go Vanguard and they would go like 1 1 4 and they would just farm radiance. Yeah. Like that was it. That's all you did. That's your job. Yep. And then the game was basically dictated by your radiance timing. It's like if you got like a 13 or 14 minute radiance, you were. You, win. you won. Yeah, that was it. Just press or and laugh. If you had like a 25 minute radiance, you lost. Well. All right, then you go 79, then you, 79, 79, and then you win. So like it's, it's. But that was back when Spectre AM were like the only carry. So oh, tornado MP on both. Let's get the gold stab. We'll be able to ball away. Soul assumption. Oh, I uh, he didn't have vision. I don't think. Man. That billion Bulls cast range. Two K cash on the. But even just doing bird. that, like Bulba now has to bottle crow, or just go back to base with his haste room. Yeah. Which I guess. The is MP tornado scary. hurts. It does, man. Drains a ton of mana. We kind of forgot about TC, who's just been sitting here. Yeah, he's been doing his thing. He's even got a Midas, which PyCat does not, which yeah. is important. Even though PyCat's um, been involved in some kills. All right, chances of TC dropping some unicorn waveforms? <laughs> Zero. TC Agreed. actually plays Morphling a lot, or used to, I should say. And um, I, I think he's one of the more solid carry players, honestly. Have, have we seen TC throw? I don't remember the last time No, TC I, I don't think he's like ever thrown a game. Yeah. Which is impressive because North American players are known for throwing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, actually, he's Canadian, right? Yeah. Yeah, That's so there you America. go. I mean, it is North America, but it's like... I can think of other Canadians. If it was an American player, he would have thrown. <laughs> <laughs> it's just how we are, man. We can't help it. <sighs> That's true. We just, like, hear the bald eagle and we just go in. So <laughs> those years of baseball. Yeah. You know, there's the Beastmasters that with the bald eagle now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Even though it's not called a bald eagle, it pretty much is a bald eagle. Is it on his shoulder or something? Uh, no, it's like the summoned hawk oh, or whatever. Okay. I just think, like, like, fucking two years too late, if they get, they gave Hannah that, that cosmetic to TI2, ah! mm -hmm. like we would've won, man. Just pick him Beastmaster every game. Just beat them with Patriots. Oh, there's gonna be some action here, bottom. Come on, MSS, go. Go, go, oh, go. Tornado. Another whiff. whiff. How did he miss when he was daggered? Way too still could be in trouble, though. Oh, EMP comes out. No, Liquid ran into no. it. Lost mana, no Grave. <laughs> that ga Grave cast range, man. So low. Level one Grave. I just think that Team Dog, considering they're up against a Storm Spirit and a Batrider with the early Blink Dagger, and they've only gave away two kills, impressed. Just really good rotation, and whenever there's fighting going on, they're the one that's initiating the fight and not allowing Team Liquid to do anything. Team Liquid's been looking. They've been smoking around, trying to find these kills here and there, but just can't find it, man. The spec is really working out for them. He's, like, rotated Dyer's really well. Dyer's bottom tower got lots of kills. is under well, attack. It's, it's not... Rotate when, when you press your ultimate <laughs> right next to you. Like, you're rotated when you press all... Oh, you and a dagger! Liquid! Dyer's Way to melt. Are they attack. gonna fight this? I think they are. Touché. Yeah, Storm comes in. Boba, he's gonna go for Bog. That's definitely a kill. Okay. Looks like uh, PC manages to secure it. MSS and PyCat are the heck out of here. See ya. I mean, hashtag worth if there's CM. You drew four TPs. Okay. Dyer's yeah, well, I mean, is under one attack. of them is Morphling. The thing is, if they try to push this after the fact, but I guess they're I think Morphling lost more gold by not free farming top and pressuring tier two. Yeah, 
Could I be. need to see him kill. The MP oh tornado. my god, MSS is killing these guys! Oh, Two-man hook! Two-man hooks! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, well. MSS is dominating. It's uh, looking a little bit grim right now for Liquid. Although, Dyer's let's be honest for a second, no attack. towers have dropped yet. This is going to be the first tower that Dog Radiant's are able to secure themselves this whole game. And TC attack. still does have almost a Lincoln's and a Midas at 16 minutes. Dyer's middle tower is actually the fallen. Lincoln's going to do him anything? Like, it's going to no. block a... He's going to need another item. Yeah. So... No, no, as in, like, it, does the damage block or spell block actually matter in this game? It doesn't... The spell block? Oh, Well, yeah. he can block Cold Snap, Soul Assumption, Frame Frostbite. 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 It's That's like it. not really... Wait, does it block that? Yeah, it does. If you click it on them, right. But the, you can click the dagger past them, yeah. and it'll still hit. And it's off. Not blocking much. I guess you know that's where you talk about the regen and whatever else. Yeah, it's just for eff efficiency on the map, basically, more than anything else. Yep. What was not having a good time? We're, you know, much further away from a. Uh... I mean, he's not doing that bad. He's only one one. But... Considering the amount of EMP tornado he ate, though, it's just yeah. Not good for the stomach. Not good for I the almost heart. think that you have to go BKB first in, in games like these. Mm -hmm. I don't. I, I'm I mean, sure Radiant's after every gank, tower. you're going to well. If he didn't have a bat, I would say yes. Okay, fair Radiant enough. Radiant structures are fortified. I mean, he's not the only initiator, Dyer's so I don't think he necessarily needs attack. it first. And if he does go first item BKB, then the rest of his team can't really follow him up, you know what I mean? Because MSS has really good zoning with EMP Tornado, and they have a clockwork, so he would kind of just BKB go in by himself, you know? I don't know. I, I don't think it's that good. He'll Dyer's probably make one after the Orchid, is under but I don't think first would be worth it. Radiant's yeah. bottom tower so in this position, attack. MSS TPs to the tier Dyer's 2, and if someone else is going to TP to the tier 1, I think, are they? Maybe. They don't have Glyph, yeah. so if they were going to, then they would have to down. do it now. Dyer's yeah, top tower, tower has dead. fallen. So he just TP to the to fire. Radiant's oh, bottom tower has well, fallen. Well, maybe it was just miscommunication. I mean, Radiant's my question was, like, what position do you want to TP to? Like. Well, if you're going to fight, you should TP to the Tier 2 first, right? Because then you can be in position without them having seen a TP. And, of course, you don't want the TP to be longer when you show them one. Clockwork Hook into the mid lane. Clock gets caught. He's going to... That is a really early grave. But uh, he's going to go down here. Regardless, I think. Yeah, he does. Bubba tries to make something out of it. Uh, Dead. Oh, yeah, yes. Firefly runs out at the wrong opportune time. Misery picks up a double. And speaking of Misery, he's about to get the Axe up there soon. He yeah. way to get caught, but uh, he's going to TP out. Holy crap, yeah. my cat is farmed. Yeah, he nearly has the Radiance. He's like 1,200 gold away or something. No. No, he's like 900, 900 away. gold away. I mean, if he press Alt, that just wins the fight, right? At this stage in the game, it almost yeah. kills way too and fluff from like full health. I mean, Wei Chu could just hex the illusion, so... Yeah, but there's still going to be, like, he's not... Well, there's no, not n there, there won't be one that's giving him a pure damage yeah, Tesla truck, true. so that's that's where a lot of damage comes in. So I guess Wei Chu could survive, but if you have to use a hex at the middle of a team fight on illusion... Well, I mean, it's either that or die, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So pretty much your options <laughs> at this point. They're going to find a CM, though. Ooh. Mm. Is that worth MSS is pretty close. <clears throat> Yeah, they really want MSS. Smoke's gonna break. Mm -hmm. Bubba well, wants to go in. He wants to go for MSS. MSS is so far, though. He wasted quite a bit of mana there. EMP Moreno's gonna come out. Quick for the whistle oh lasso on to MSS. He manages to dodge the EMP. He doesn't lose any mana for that. MSS looks like he will finally go down here. Frostbite on to Bulba. He doesn't have much mana left. He's gonna get a grave. He might have been able to TP out there if he didn't use all his mana. But I guess the boat over there to uh, potentially stun it. And Fluff will be able to TP away. No, on the back line, the smoke lane picked off the uh, Kurfa. Looks like by using his hook. There's a TP shot going on. This is, this is so ballsy. Space created. And, and they don't know, though. They don't know. They have no idea. This is like... This is some next level Roshi. Right? This is like when Boxer did two Marine drops at different bases. Like, all right, the man, that's all cool. That's all cool reference. Fog, just seen attack. Roshan being done. Oh, he's <laughs> gonna check. Oh, I love this. He doesn't know where they are, though. He can't. Oh, no, I can, now I can see. Now I can see. Oh, he had the words, yeah. yeah. He's running out. Oh, he wants to go. Wait for this me. is his time. Oh, no. Ticat, he wants to go in. TC is going to get his Aegis pop pretty much straight away. Frostbite on the no, fluff. Grave no, still in full out for about five seconds. He's still, yeah, he's tanking through it, man. Boba goes in. Tornado EMP. Boba needs to get the heck out of there. EMP is going to be dodged. No, Fluff actually walks into it. Gets cold snap. Also going to go down here. TC retreats with his waveform. And Boba is going to drop as well to Pycat. So 
this is um not looking so great. Nope, Radiance just got picked Dyer's up. Han is online, man. Oh, oh, oh. Right now. Bottom tower has I'm still fallen. waiting for that one time where Spectre haunts and then jumps between five illusions because you can do that now and just get an ultra kill. Oh, quite far. Yeah. Well. Oh. Yeah. Oh, the haunt as well. Oh, the haunt is coming in. Wait, his haunt lasted that long? Like he just used reality. How long does it last? Level two, set six seconds. Jeez, what a skill! Is this where you just go refresher, right? Because yeah. you would actually just kill his whole team, yes. your whole team with refresher. Yes. You, you do. Uh, that would be pretty. I mean, you can have the blade too. That's pretty good. Dyer's bottom tower ah, has nobody fallen. gets that at him. Refresh is hilarious on Spectre, actually. Blaze here. Hey, really, what would they do against that? You can even sit in the well and do it, like it. Yeah. I mean, you, you, it's wishful thinking, I know. He you, probably you suicide won't bomb the storm to go in and orc it to prevent the next haunt from coming out? <laughs> we can't take another one, Captain! Yeah, this game got out of hand real quick. Dyer's For a while, it was looking like okay, even though Liquid had lost a few, but they just kept getting picked. Like, the whole game is just I mean, heroes this, getting picked off. This lineup is designed to have Team Liquid uh, Storm Spirit as well as a Bat Rider to go for picks to create a space for TC to do whatever he wants to do, but that never happened. Yeah. We saw the power like EMP as well. Like he's gotten EMPs on Dazzle like three or four times in the game, and Dazzle's just like standing there. Like, what do I do now? Level one grave, man. <laughs> yeah, it's not. What a not, skill. Yeah, you, you have to take it, level it, and max it. I think this is pr probably the perfect reason to do because if you get too close, that EMP is going to hurt you. I just think that being close on Dazzle in any situation is bad. Like I don't see a reason to be close unless you're like playing super aggressive and you know that you're going to win the fight. Um, okay, TC got a free bird. Easy birds, man. Easy life. He's still 2-1 though, 0 TC. Never feeds. Yeah, even though the rest of his team's feeding, he's not. Well, I mean, when you have the most farm and the Aegis, and the, you have strength morph well, and a morph lane. He didn't even need the Aegis to not die bottom. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> Look, I'm saying two sides of the coin here, man. Okay. It's a triple-sided coin. Or can just land on the edge, right? Yeah. Like he just stands straight up and down. Here comes a big smoke gank here from Team Dog and the, the player that we fe featured earlier, Smuggling, and he's been landing some big hooks, 1-1-8 one, one, and eight so far. Surviving that offlane very well. Looks like they want TC. TC with a haste man. Tornado removes that. Here we go, Tornado. Gonna take away the EMP out of mana. Cold snap and rip, he dead. He's gonna have to go round two, though. Phase two, boys. Stay out of the fire. Dude, look at my Smuggling. He's waiting. Smuggling. Smuggling. All right, intervent the healers. Uh -oh. Already stuck. Um, he is uh, uh, That's a feed. Uh, no, no, he's got no. a hook hit. Oh, 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 Next level. They're gonna grave TC before both goes down. That was still pretty decent, but I don't think uh, oh, poor TC is gonna live through this. That's he's straight forward. He's straight forward. No, he's not. Stop. Are they just... Think this is where you call GG? Maybe. Question mark? Maybe not. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Like that? But really, like, let's talk about what went wrong for Liquid. I think, honestly, this is just a game where you got picked off a ton, right? GG. Like, just so many situations where people were forfeiting their lives and MSS played, like, really well. Hit a Dyer's lot of initiating tornado EMP Radiant combos, and victory. there was really not much that Liquid could do about it in response. Mm -hmm. And like, like you were saying at the beginning, I mean, there were these situations where they were able to go in and start the fight before Liquid were able to get up, like, Mass Serpent Wars or anything huge like that, so yeah. they never got the momentum going. I think there was a time where Storm, and I'm pretty sure it was Dazzle tried to gank mid. Or Bat Rider. Storm, Storm and Bat. Storm and Bat. And then uh, all of a sudden...